So would you like to add your bank account here into the Shopify? Let's see how you can stop receiving payments from your Shopify store. Let's get started in a very easy way. I'm gonna leave you the link down below in the description, guys, so we can all get started totally for free. Then later on, we can just uh, focus, uh, focus only into Shopify. So the very first thing I wanted to do, of course, is to focus and access to the Shopify payments. Logged into your Shopify administrator dashboard. From the dashboard, you want to navigate directly into the left that says settings. Here into settings, what I wanted to do is to go and select the payments that appears here into the left pod. Now that we are inside the actual payments, let's add our banking account. Now in the Shopify payment section, you can locate the bank account and the actual payout. Uh, click on the complete account setup, follow the prompts to enter your personal details and verify your identity. Usually if you are based into the United States, you might be seeing something called the Shopify payment. If you are not into the actual Shopify or your actual store is not into the country eligible, you might not be having this actual element. If you go directly here into the help.shopify.com, it's going to be showing you the actual countries. They actually, uh, let's say, enable the countries you can just focus into the Shopify payments. If you see that your actual country is not here, then what you can do is to go for the actual alternatives. So entering an actual banking details information, whether that will be for receiving payments or to making payments directly into Shopify. If you want to make payments directly, you want to go here into the plan and add your actual payment method. If you want to receive money using the actual payment method of your banking account, you need to add this as an actual manual payment method. So for that, what I want to be doing here inside the payments, I'm going to scroll all the way down and look out for a manual payment method. Here, what I wanted to do is to go for create a custom payment method. And here, I'm going to name this bank account. Now, into additional details, what you want to do is to display to the customers uh, what happens when they actually choosing the payment method. For example, uh, when they choose this payment method, they need to do, I don't know, maybe A, B, and C. And lastly, have the in payment instructions. Display to the customers after they place the order with the actual payment method. After that, you have now entered your banking account details, including your account holder name. Here you can include the account number, the routing number, and Shopify will securely store this information for processing your actual pay uh, payouts. And here should be appearing your bank deposit. And of course, you needed to enable this one in order to be, of course, approved before being fulfilled. And now, after adding your banking account, Shopify will initiate the verification process to show the account belongs to you. This might be involving a small test deposit to your banking account, which you need to confirm into your Shopify administrator tool. Another solution that I can give you just in case you cannot or you don't want to use this method for a banking uh, account is choosing an actual new uh, additional payment method, such as PayPal, such as Stripe, or the actual element, whatever that is available into your store. So if I go here into my payments, what I want to do here is to go into adding a payment method inside the additional payment method and depending on the country you're currently living it might be showing you different elements of course and what are available into your country and what are not depending on once again the provider or the payment method you wanted to accept into your store and that guys is how you can successfully add your bank account into your shopify so guys Adding this uh, stuff allows you to receive payment from your online store. If you find this tutorial helpful, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more Shopify tips and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully, we're going to see you next time.